Welcome, thanks for joining us for our next session. Here we are at A2O, home of Panthera CrossFit. CrossFit Panthera. Oh, you know, I worked on that too. <laughs> I practiced quite a bit, it's a mouthful. But be sure you follow it on social media in that order. Um, you'll find all of our different workouts. Now, the CrossFit part, we talked about it a little bit here. Like it's not exactly flipping tires and doing stuff all the time, right? It's not, no. Okay. We very rarely flip tires and sling sledgehammers. Okay. We do have them outside, but that's not, not really what we're about here. Okay, what kind of workouts do you usually do? Uh, so our workouts are constantly varied, functional movements executed at a high intensity. And that varies, that's kind of the technical definition okay. of CrossFit that varies based on the person. Uh, so the workouts change every day, so you're never doing the same thing, you know, back to back to back, which is really cool. Yeah. Uh, so, and then let's see, constantly very functional movement, so a lot of squatting, you know, you gotta squat on yeah. the toilet, a little core work, so you can sit up out of bed, get up out of the chairs by yourself. So it's very so, functional, like day-to-day -day stuff. Yeah, picking things up and putting them down, how to not hurt your back while you're helping your friends move. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Um, and I was actually surprised when I got here how large your facility is. Where's our location exactly? Uh, we're in Dunkirk. Dunkirk. Uh, we are at 10406 Southern Maryland Boulevard, which is actually behind PetSmart and Mr. Yes. Tire. Yeah, so. yeah, and it was actually a big sign, so it's easy to find once you get back once here. Once you get back here. It used yep. to be a kid's bounce house, if you've ever heard of Monkey Kate and Dave's. That's oh, what it used to be in here. that's funny. No, no, no bounce houses anymore. And a, no, no, no. And a very, very long time ago, it was Olympus Gym. So, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I kind of vaguely remember that one. Yeah. But. <laughs> All right, cool. So you know where to find us. You know some of the routines. You, they can find you on social media, right? Yes. Yep. We have, we're on Facebook at HBOFIT, home of CrossFit Panthera. And then we have an Instagram, CrossFit.Panthera. And then we also have at A2O Fit. Oh, you're everywhere, so people can see the work. Yes. And you give like kind of like examples of the workout routines and people doing them and just like little tidbits and stuff to help. Yeah, little tidbits of stuff. We yeah. try to shout out our members, you know, you know, for their good stuff. Try and put a little positive quotes in there every so often. Make then, people feel good in yeah. today's world. And you have to, and we gotta stay healthy. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, some of the uh, deals and stuff, like you have a lot of kids classes and stuff too, right? Those are online as well. We do, yep. Uh, so we have kids classes for all ages. Uh, okay. Right now we have a tweens and teens class that meets on Mondays and Thursdays awesome. at 315, uh, as long as schools are virtual learning. Uh, and then we have kids classes on Saturdays right now, and those are run in eight week sessions. And then we have our little littles, our lions class, which is for two to three year olds. Right now those are pop up, but we're getting ready to bring them back again. And then just do like, just some workout stuff, right? Running around, mm -hmm. gym type stuff. It's like, all about making fitness fun. Yeah. So we definitely want the kids to come in and have a good time. We play games uh, with the little kids classes. So they do a little workout, they learn a movement, uh, they play a game, so have, cool. a, have some fun. That's great. So we have all ages, you know where to find you online. Oh, website. You have a website? Uh, www.crossfitpanthera.com. Okay, so there you go. So you have the website, you got the social media, you got kids' classes, adults' classes, and you don't have to be flipping tires over. So we no. have all that down pat. No. Now, this is interesting. The A2O. What does the A2O mean? Uh, so the A2O is acorns to oaks. Gotcha. Uh, so it actually comes from a Japanese haiku that talks about no one is inferior or superior to each other. So that you can come here and you can start wherever you are at your an acorn and we're going to transform you into your version of the oak tree. So it's all levels, all you don't have to be big or you can be behind, you can be big if you want to, like it's just everybody and everybody. Yeah, a lot of people like to think that actually they have to get fit to come in here and start and that's the complete opposite, you know. Perfect. You can come in wherever you're at and we will meet you there. Gotcha, so hopefully beat me here as we try out this workout. Yes. Don't, don't beat me up too much. <laughs> um, thank you very much, I look forward to this so, adventure of a workout here. All right, sounds good. All right, so for our workout today, we're gonna do a style that we call an EMOM, which stands for every minute on the minute. So we're gonna work for 12 minutes and you're gonna move between three different movements and then you get one minute of rest at the end, okay? So we're gonna go through, see where you are so that we know what level of movements that we're gonna do, okay? So our first movement is gonna be the burpee, okay? Do you know what a burpee is? All right, let's see, let's see your burpee. Yeah, uh-huh. Beautiful. All right, so two things for the burpee. We wanna get our chest all the way to the ground and then we wanna jump up in the air. So you don't actually have to do the full push-up. You can kind of go down a little bit lower, drop down, jump up, jump in. Okay, try one more time. Yeah, full one, perfect. All right, awesome. So if you couldn't do a burpee and you were doing this from home, you can step it out and step it in. So we'll step backwards. 
drop down and step it in and jump up. Or we can do what we call an up down where you hop out, hop in and stand up. So you take out the chest to the ground part of it. That's the first minute, okay? Second minute, we got squats. So let's see some squats. Uh-huh, regular body weight squats. Good, doing a good job keeping, ah, so wanna keep those feet flat on the ground. Nice, our knees are tracking straight out over our toes. Good depth right there. Now, if we wanna make it a little bit more challenging, you could hold on to some form of weight. I'm gonna give you this kettlebell. Okay. So you can hold it however is comfortable. You can hold it this way. Some people hold it this way, okay? Or you can hold it this way, but you wanna keep it against your chest, okay? And then keep those feet flat on the ground as we're squatting and standing. Nice, good. And if you were doing this at home, you could hold on to any form of weight that you wanted to, okay? Uh, or no weight at all. All right, let's set that down. Which one would you like to use? The pink one or the blue one? That one's good? All right, perfect. All right, our last movement is pull-ups. So a lot of people see people doing CrossFit and they're doing these like crazy floppy pull-ups. Those are called kipping pull-ups. But before you can do those, we make sure that you can do three strict pull-ups. So let's see where our pull-ups are at today. Uh, hand out, yep. The other ones we call chin-ups. All right, let's see if we can do three. One, now try and keep that lower body nice and tight, legs straight. All right, good. Okay, so you do have the strength if we wanted to do kipping pull-ups today, but we're not going to. I'm gonna give you some options for pull-ups, okay? You can do the strict pull-ups. Uh, this would be another option is you're gonna put one foot on this box behind you and let the other foot hang down. So you wanna keep your abs tight. You got a little bit of assistance from your foot to pull yourself up and then lower back down, okay? So a little bit of assistance. If I wanted more assistance, I could put both feet on the box behind me. Or last option, we can do them from a seated position. So you can be over here. My butt's gonna be on the ground. It's gonna stay back behind. I'm gonna look forward, pull straight up and then lower back down, okay? You want to try one of these or are you going to do strict? So we can figure out what we're doing. Yep, so squeeze your abs, squeeze your butt. Nice. Good. One more. Nice. Perfect. All right. And you know, try these. I'll give you the last option too. Try a couple of the seated ones. All right, and then if you were at home, let's say you had like TRX straps at home or you have a set of rings, you could also do ring rows. They're just taking you from being straight up and down underneath of the bar, but I can lean back and I can pull my rings to my armpits. I can make it easier by walking myself back or I can make it harder by walking my feet further forward. This is a little different because it's putting you at an angle versus underneath of it, but that's an option if you had a set of rings at home and you didn't have a pull-up bar, okay? So, we're gonna do one minute, as many burpees as you can do, one minute, as many squats as you can do, one minute, as many pull-ups as you can do, then we're gonna rest. Uh, I'm gonna keep track of your minutes on this timer. All right, here we go. The goal is to keep moving and stay consistent, so don't, don't go crazy these first three minutes. All right, here we go, 10 seconds. All right, go. One, good. Two. Three. Four, nice. Five, now raise those arms up overhead as you jump. Get the arms involved. Six, good. All right, we got 30 seconds left. Seven. Eight, nice, Billy. 
नाइन टेन गुड अलेवन ट्वेल्व सी आ वे ओनली गॉट इन ट्वेल्व All right, over to squats. Moving right into those squats. Ah, oh, glad you picked the pink one. <laughs> one. Let's we'll see if we can get a little bit lower. Two. Three. Good. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now see if you can touch that box. Sixteen, seventeen. Good. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Let's get to twenty-two. Twenty-two. Good. Oh, twenty-three. Twenty-three. All right, over to pull-ups. You choose whichever one you want. <laughs> good. One, two, three. Nice, good form. Four. Abs are tight. Five, six, seven. You can take a break if you need to. Eight. Try and look up just a little bit. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah, uh, twenty seconds. Yeah, you can walk your feet back. Thirteen, if you need to. Fourteen. So try not to use those hips so much. Pull the shoulder blades together. Sixteen. Woo! Seventeen. You quit looking at the clock. Ah, oh, all right, 17. All right, now you got a minute to rest. All right, that was one set. We're doing it two more times. Do you remember how many you got? Get 12 again. Eight. Have to go a little faster. Nine. See if we can get 11. 10. 11. All right. To the squats. Woo. All right. We're getting that butt all the way down to the box. Aren't you glad you picked the pink one? Yeah. One. You're doing awesome. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Keep your abs tight. Nine. Squeeze your butt at the top. Eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, good, Billy, 15, 16, 17, keep going, keep going, 19, all the way down, 20, 21, 22, all right, now for the rings. So think about keeping those shoulder blades engaged, so don't let them round out this way. You can take it, yeah, take a step back a little bit. There we go, good. One, two, three, good. Four, look up just a little bit. Five, six, good. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 
11, 12, all right, keep going, 15 seconds, 13, 14, we did 17 last time, 15, 16, look up just a little bit, 17, oh, we might get another one, 18, ah, 18, woo, all right, two sets down, one left. Need a drink of water? Okay. I have some water if you need some. <laughs> also, if you need a mask break, you're welcome to step outside. Seconds. No time oh, no time for that. It's amazing what a third, like a 10 second mask break. All right, that time we had 11, 22, and 18. One less burpee, but one more ring row. All right, still trying to stay nice and consistent. I'm telling you, these disposable ones, just so we have learned, we have learned that the disposable masks are the way to go for workouts. All right, last round, here we go in three, two, one, and go. One. Two. Good. Three. Four. Nice job, Billy. Drop down. Five. Six. You're crushing it. This is the last set of burpees you got to do. Ah, seven. We can always add a bonus round. Eight, good. Nine, keep going, keep going. You're doing awesome. 10, woo, gotta finish that 11th one. All right, all right, straight into those squats. Yeah, yeah, straight into it. Think about breathing in through your nose. Out through your nose, little nasal breathing, good. Two, three, four, good foot adjustment. Five, six, seven, nice job. Keep those abs tight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, good, 14, nice flat back, 15, 16, woo, 17, all the way till the end of the minute, 18, 19, 20, you did 23 last time, 21, 21, all right, pull-ups, ring rows, just kidding, you did 22 last time. All right, this is your last minute of work. You can empty out that tank, everything you got left. One, two, three. Try and look up a little bit. Four, good. Opens up that chest. Five, six, nice job. Seven, eight, nine, crushing it, 10, Nice and consistent, 11. You keep going, I'll focus on the clock. 12, 13, all the reps, 14, 15. You got 10 seconds left, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, woo! Good job. Now you gotta go wash your hands. We can do it again if you want. I can set another, no? Yeah. Okay, all right.